instinct. The feeling. The force brought us together. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. Long have I waited. And now... Coming together. Is your undoing. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. <laughs> Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny.
John.
go. Bono. I'm gonna have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? Yeah. Can we cut the twisty ties? Hey, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other tied. Unless you have a trick. Is it alright that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Yep. This is Raw Tunnel that we're in right now. It's going to be dark for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there, and then we're in here, and the next one is Mud Tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go. Full season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yep. This is all that made. U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. 
or their practice runs would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Yep, the one that's made all out of mud with um, railroad ties holding it up. Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. So the tunnels are real close to each other. Thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you yeah. cannot recover it. Sure. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. So are you GoPro the whole thing? What? Are you using the GoPro for the whole thing? You're more than welcome to stand there, I don't care. I'll let you know. Plus, this is card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Worth an hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lobato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your... Who cares? It's fine. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned is better. So that tunnel's coming up pretty soon? It should be. Got to be careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that gorge. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be there. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Right here, it's still straight away. Yep. So it's on the along the straighter way or it's no it, I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tangle foot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
That's fine. How far are we from my tunnel? My tunnel? Yeah. They know we just went through rock tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was the, in. I was on the curb. Oh, see, I was in Chama. I missed it. Oh, man. Now, they're not going to be running tomorrow or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the curb for that one. But, yeah. uh. Yeah. If you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Oh, that's a Sadly. Did you buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Rail Fence for the night. But yeah, that was fun going through rock tunnel. Uh, I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you uh He'd follow us back to Ozer. He's going back to Antonito. Like we are. This is the Los Pinos River, or lake as we call it now. Usually this whole pasture is flooded. flooded. It's underneath the water half the time. But now since we're in the fall, and we even hit down a bunch of rain up here, that's what it's going to be at. Get snow this season that we were hoping for, and this whole area will be under water again. Because we've had actually water come up almost to the track. Let me say this it's not fun when you have to go through wet track. These are old railroad ties that used to be right here. They're heavy, they're too heavy. You can't. Well, they are. They're over a hundred pounds. You know, you want to know how many it takes? You want to know how many it takes to pick up one of those? Four. That's right here.
track down below that we're going to be going on. We're going to do a scoop. Up ahead. The dozer is down back there.
back to Chama. But I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, if you're hanging out, you can fly me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you, if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean out the book box to make sure that the... Uh, yeah, for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So, yes, we got that job. You? I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. Really? It two days. Two days, yeah. Earlier, through the um, before we got to Osher, two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool! Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C 130s. C 130s, yeah, I think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these in a way? Um, they can't. Not really. No, I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. They'll turn them on their side and fly full that door. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them. Here yeah. For uh, Afghanistan, I believe. And Baghdad, yeah. The first time I go all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thanks. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah, At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Oh. Fine. Oh, Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where that. Where all the derailments happened. No, no, that's a. That's a. Oh, yeah, derailments up at Phantom. Yeah, but uh, the real thing was that Toltec, or the. What's that called? Calico cut. I get all the Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on the front. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming. Yeah. Uh, Nine's actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure they just busted up and people run it. it. Wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, There's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here. It was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those spray cars up from down there. Uh, probably not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got, that, we've got better condition spray cars in the restoration here. Playing them at least. Maybe. See, I think that would be. A, I think that would be more of a like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah. The friends and but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osher out there. Or could you? I think you could run a 
I think you could run a, um, a flat with a crane bolted onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work crane that they have, uh, it's an old diesel work crane from the, um, they need to do a shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance to take a look at it. Yeah, but, uh, I'll mention that would probably be, start it up on this side, pull it over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah. But I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if, if they still it last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, here's the Phantom Curve. Oh, the Phantom Curve. Big, uh... Big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, well, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's so fine. Beautiful country, you know? It's God's country. Yeah. yeah. That little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of our, that little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot, I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or do you live in Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Are you going to school out there? Or to your family? Nah, it's just that where, just where I live right now. Oh, okay. Almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Pull them back up. Huh? Pull them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. To, 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 oh, sure. And then they're running brake tests. Huh? You did the running brake test, check it all. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about. Anyway. Yep. See here, RGS 20 is back at um, Colorado Urban Museum. Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's right. certified at 120 psi. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and Good she's coming power. here. We actually have plans. Sure? Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. They still have other things to put on her, but yeah. How long she be on? How long she been underway? I, I could say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was doing all that. Yeah. I should have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff, but we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. We must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Stand right here. Huh? Stand right here and we stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right. My tunnel. Yep. Huh? Pass 311. Yep, my post 311. I'm going after RDF 41 and not Terry Farm. 
They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to acquire it. DNF shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, their old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RGS41. So they're just loading it. Mud tunnel. This is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the on the DNS fire. And you know I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on the DNS. I do too. Well um it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah.
because this is the seven weeks down. Yeah. Well, not here, but once we go past, farther out, yeah. So the captain told me to connect the help out before. Back in Chama, but I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was gonna say if you're hanging out, you can slide me down. Because um, what time does the bus? What, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of one sixty eight. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean up the book box to make sure that the uh, Yeah, for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. It's really? only two days. Days, yeah. And it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool. Lacing up my gloves cause I ain't afraid to fight Stepping in the ring, it's going down tonight. They calling out your name, wanna see me bleed. Firing words like weapons, but they don't hit me. You've got nerve to be the judge of me.
Coffee stains teeth. Unlike